Hi everyone, I am now at the High Northwest Portland Hostel. I think that's what it's called. Um, so yeah, this is, this is hostel life. Um, this is the door where you come into the room and I will turn around here. You guys can see bunk beds right here when you first walk in. And then from there, there's a second set of bunk beds and a third set of bunk beds. What I find kind of interesting is that when I booked this room, it said that it fits eight people, but it clearly doesn't. It only fits six. So I'm kind of confused on that. Uh, as of right now, uh, there's only one person in here other than me. I just got through meeting them. Super cool. And the bathroom is attached in here to this room. So we go this way. I'm going to walk backwards. And bathroom. Uh, bathroom is single use. So... You're the only one in here. There's only one shower, one toilet. That's it. Just you're in here by yourself and the door locks, obviously. Um, then you also have the lockers over here. Uh, they're really big lockers too. Um, show you guys like really, really big lockers. I was able to fit, well, I can probably show you. Let me undo my lock here. I ended up bringing my own lock instead of buying one or should I say renting one downstairs um, because I am going to be going to multiple hostels. So just buy one lock and carry it with me. But to give you an idea of how big these are, it fits a lot at this particular hostel. I have my Peak Design bag. I have my backpack. I have my toiletry kit hanging up in here. I, I have tons, tons of room in the locker. So that's really nice. Uh, this particular room is on the fourth floor. So you can see out the window behind me that there's a, a nice little view of the kind of downtown area of Portland. Um, you also see here there's desks, little tables and chairs to where if you wanted to put your laptop and study you could. There's obviously a full length mirror that you can use. And then as far as the actual bed, um, it does come with sheets and pillow. It has the sheets for the top of the bed as well as a blanket. And then underneath, I almost sat on my sunglasses. Underneath here, you have a whole whole little array of electronics which is fabulous you have a fan that way if you get hot or you prefer to sleep with a fan on at night you have a fan you also have a little individual light that you can turn on and off that way you're not turning on the overhead lights and waking everybody up and being a jerk don't do that and then you have an entire power strip. Uh, there's two plugs here um, for the fan and the light, but then you also have one plug is taken for the bunk above. Now if you're on the bunk above, you obviously don't have that one taken, but realistically, if you're looking here, even with the light and the fan plugged in, I still have three more outlets that I can use, which is great. Comes with a little shelf. I could put my cell phone up here or anything that I'm charging. And so far it's 
really, really nice. I, I'm going to point out the bunks over here. It has kind of a little cubby, cubby hole where you can put a few little things in there in addition to the power strip and the fan and the light. Uh, down here, you kind of see the little cubby hole a little bit better. So that's, that's pretty nice, you know. Um, they do provide towels, a, well, technically a towel free of charge. Um, when I got here, the guy at the desk was very helpful, very nice. He gave me a tour of the place and I am hoping to try and take a video of the place for you guys so you can see because there are a lot of common areas. There are gardens inside that you can just chill and hang out. There's a kitchen a lot of amenities. There's washers and dryers if you need that. It, it, this place is really nice and it has central heat and air so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, one thing over here I noticed is you do have the um, hooks for coats if you needed that. Uh, let me see what else. The windows are open to let some natural air come through. And you do have over here, if you needed the little extra space, you do have little cubbies right here if you wanted to put stuff. A um, little bit more tour of the bathroom. Uh, the shower, they have a little shower mat that you can put on the floor if you wanted to. I'm taking a shower with flip flops, so ugh. Not gonna need that. Uh, looks like there is a little soap dispenser in there, but won't use that. Um, and then you have a hand dryer in the bathroom. That's kind of cool. Uh, you do have a little soap dispenser right here too. Uh, looks like there is a, a community conditioner that someone has left. Um, probably just bought a full-size thing and couldn't take it with them and, and left it. Um, but yeah, this place is pretty nice. I mean, I paid for a room that should fit eight people, but technically it only fits six. And as of right now, there's only two of us here. And should the other person be in the bathroom and I need to use the bathroom, there are two more separate bathrooms down the hallway uh, that I could use if I just really had to. Um, but it's a cute little area out here. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can see. There's like cute little apartments or houses down there. Um, kind of more industrial area. I believe that is the Pearl District. And that is where I'm actually going to be going tonight. Um, I saw that they have what's called First Thursdays at the Pearl District. And it's kind of like a big farmer's market uh, where they have food trucks and whatnot. So I'm going to go check that out. Um, just explore. I unloaded all of my heavy luggage as you saw in the locker and I now just have my little backpack that has only what I realistically need today to be able to go out and, and go around but yeah I'm so far I'm really really impressed with this place I mean you don't have exact privacy like you would with a hotel room but Given the cost, I'm not complaining one bit. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna go down to the lobby area and check that out. See what that's all about.
here. We have the washer and dryer, which is kind of cool. And I didn't check. Yeah, it's quarter operated. I had to get my card out so I could scan that. I'm gonna go upstairs. Let's see what's up here. Got a nice little kitchen area. Fridge. You can put your food, everything you need for cooking. And another little community area to sit. Cool. 